Hi everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel RPA Space. And this is Dinagran. Today in this video, we are going to learn about like one of the interesting activity which is there in UiPath. And in case if someone has already pro or expertise in UiPath and about this activity, this is not going to help you for them. But if someone is wondering like how to use or implement this activity in their real-time project, this is going to be really helpful for them. So without getting delayed, let's jump back to our channel and its uh, details so that it will be really helpful if someone is new. Right. So if you wonder, like, uh, what is all about the channel, we do have a lot of videos related to UiPath and Prism. So it like on a video account, you can be able to see there are 100 videos which is related to UiPath and Prism. It will be helpful for you to learn from scratch. Right. So just go through the channel if you are new and do please share and subscribe so that it will be really helpful. So this is quite a intro or brief note about our channel and its video content what we have so we have overall 96 videos and uh, today it reached 100 actually so most of the content where in blue prism now we are uh, marching towards uipath as well and probably we will uh, go in detail with other automation tools also in the upcoming um, days right so now we'll jump back to our today's activity which is like uh, pick and pick branch activity so this we might not be often used in our project or probably it might not be familiar for most of us because we do have other options just using if and check exist conditions we are just skipping this activity and if you are using it that's really good and well uh, well and good for you but if you are not using this is going to be really helpful so what is all the activities about right so at an execution time, the triggers uh, for all branches and executed in parallel, so which is nothing but it, it computes or it executes all the actions which you put it in the branches in a parallel manner. Whichever reaches a success, whichever conditions or whichever branches reaches a success can, success criteria, the other execution uh, will, uh, other parallel execution will keep stop. So basically, like when you reach a success condition, it's going to stop the rest of the branch so that it will not keep running with infinite loops. So one of the simple example I just want to be highlight is like when you want to uh, use multiple conditions in your element exists, you can use this option, right? For example, you want to look for either login button or submit button. So if you want to put both of them in the same element exist logic, so you cannot report it, like you cannot add it actually. So in that case, this is going to be really helpful. You can split your conditions and uh, like pass it as uh, as like a pick and pick branch activity so that whichever button is available based on that the flow will be continuing without even waiting right so i'll show you in a real time example how that is manipulated and how we can um, like find linear uh, sequences and uh, when you use pick branch how it is getting differentiated right so where you can find the pick branch activity so either you can go for the search panel and type for pick and pick branch so you can be able to find it out or else you can go to activities workflow control and then uh, pick or pick branch whichever is required you can use it actually within pick you will be able to use pick branch you cannot like directly use it actually you have to use pick branch within pick only right so in case we are looking for a reference about like the activities all about uh, I, I have a link pasted over here so i'll put it in the description also you can explore it and try to understand more about the dotnet logic behind it actually right so this is how your pick and pick branch uh, uh, icons look like in your workflow and uh, without uh, getting delay i'll jump back to your ipad studio and show you what it is all about right right so you can see right so there is a there is two sequence which i built one of them linear patient and one of the multiple uh branches which has been executed so for example in this scenario what i did is like i'm getting url from a user user input as a dialog box and based on that browser will open um, the URL and uh, here one uh, pick branch I use Google and other pick branch I use YouTube. So basically in Google it will go and search for the temperature and show you the result in the message box. And in the pick branch of YouTube it will go to our channel RPA space and it will pick number of videos uh, posted in our channel, right? So this is I this is what the use case which I'm going to perform, which I used it in a pick and pick branch. But when you go to the next tab. In the linear activity, the same action I did it, but I did it in the linear fashion. In case if you don't want to use a big branch, how can you do it? Like, what is the advantage actually? Right. So without getting delay, let's uh, try to run this uh, use case and see like what uh, we can um, see better actually here. Right. So let's just run it out. Yeah. 
Yeah, you have a URL which you are requested, and it's going to open your browser, the respective URLs. As I gave YouTube, so it's just going to YouTube and search for a uh, channel, and it's going to give us number of videos which is posted in our channel, which is a hundred videos. So that's how the the channel picked YouTube uh, branch. Okay, so if I if I expand all these things, it's like usual or sequence whatever we used to build it, right? It's in the same fashion. Right, so if I want to run it and show you like in detail, like how this has been uh, like performing, so it will it will just complete the input dialog box and it'll try to come to the first, which is like leftmost branches, and it will try to see it. But same time, if it if it finds here, it will skip the branch and go here and keep continuing it. Right, so that's how our branches work. So let's uh, try to run our one more logic. So it took approximately like twenty three seconds to complete that whole uh, process of fetching the account, right? So for example, I want to run it in the other scenario, other cases, right? So I just want to go to Google. So it should go to Google. Let the browser be minimized. You can see it here. It's coming here and it will try to see whichever is there. So now it find a Google. So it, so it keeps continuing running parallelly for all the branches and at the end whichever branches is available on your um, process it it try to execute it and it, it completes so that's our our like uh, whole sequence or whole process run so that's quite easy and quite helpful right so in case if you want to perform or like workflow based on your different check exist conditions so you could use it right so when you go to linear right what is the I don't say it is not possible to achieve it here. It could be different ways to achieve that. Right. So the same way I'm getting an input here and I'm opening a browser also. First, I have to use a check exist for whether Google exists. If Google exists, then I have to go in this flow. If Google not exists, then it will default. It will wait for 30 seconds and it should go to the next check exist, whether it exists for uh, YouTube. And then it will try to execute all the conditions, which is actually not 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 uh, we are not performing in a parallel fashion right so we are just going like sequentially one by one right to, to avoid it's approximately take like double the time amount of, of what we got executed here so it's not in the project way so just giving you a rough number right because it should complete the first condition if it reaches false in the sec first condition then we go to the next condition but here in the main page if it uh, like whichever conditions criteria matches for you, then it will directly go there and continues the uh, sequence and the rest of the sequence will get completely terminated over there. Hope this is uh, going to be helpful and handy for you to implement in your real time project. And that's cool, actually, that's a nice feature in UiPath as well. So in case if you are good with Blue Prism and if you're able to relate with Blue Prism, there is a check exist condition in Blue Prism where you can add multiple conditions over there. but uh, which cannot be directly uh, like addressed here using element exists. Instead, you can go for pick and pick brand, which will be able to help you to address it. So it has two complete two major parts. One is trigger and actions. So you can add based on it whatever is required. So this is one of the example which I just wanted to show you and uh, uh, help you to understand pick and pick branch activity in UI part. So I'm trying to uh, add this. Uh, XAML file also for your reference. So in case if you have any questions, just uh, refer it. And uh, if you have uh, any questions, post that as well. Like just uh, do comment it below to our video. We'll try to address it. And thanks for watching watching our video. And probably if you are new and uh, if you are looking for more updates related to your path, please do share and subscribe our channel, which is RPA Space. And that's going to be really helpful for us in future. So until next video, stay tuned and thanks for watching.